Hi everybody, Maggie here again. I'm a buyer specialist at Front Door Realty, and today I wanna to talk to you about closing costs. Why? Well, aside from a down payment, closing costs are going to be the biggest expense that a buyer is gonna pay in their purchase and move, and some, if not all, of my first time home buyers don't even know they exist. So stick with me and I'll give you a quick rundown about closing costs. So, how much should buyers expect to pay in closing costs? Some lenders would suggest to be prepared to pay between two and 5%. Others might quote you something more along three and 6% of your purchase price. That's why, and I can't stress this enough, the best and really only way to get an estimate of your closing costs should be a candid conversation with your trusted mortgage professional. No matter who your lender is, you'll get an outline of your closing costs and what's called a closing disclosure at least three days prior to closing. You should go through that line by line and make sure that everything adheres to the conditions that were outlined in your purchase and sale agreement. Every transaction is a little bit different, but that being said, here's some common items that you might see in your closing costs. Loan origination fees, that's just the cost to start your mortgage. Recording fees, attorney's fees, your appraisal amount, yeah, that doesn't have to come out of your pocket, talk to your lender about that. Um, homeowners association transfer fees, title insurance, the list really goes on and on. Also, and I get this all the time, it's a great question, and that is, can we ask the sellers to pay for our closing costs? Well, the answer is yes, but it depends on lots of different factors. One, the purchase price that you're willing to put up for the house, also the level of competition that you're facing and the overall market conditions. It will affect the seller's bottom line and could make your offer less appealing. Your real estate agent will be able to tell you whether or not that's advisable in your situation. The topic of closing costs could take me days to cover in depth. It's very important for you to understand the costs that you're covering at closing and make sure it adheres to the guidelines that were outlined in your purchase and sale agreement. The biggest takeaway that I wanna leave you with is that buyers should be fully aware of the scope of their closing costs within their price range. Nobody wants any surprises that close to closing and I wouldn't wish that stress on anyone. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope this video was informative. If you know someone that's looking to buy or sell real estate, please share this video and have them give us a call at Front Door Realty. Bye, take care.